Hi guys, my name is Eva Landry. If it's the first time you're checking out one of my videos, please check out my channel and subscribe for a bunch of weekly tutorials, reviews, and free tools to help you create. Today we are trying the Motion Graphic Essentials Pack by Rampant Design Tools. This pack is full of cool paint overlays, ink drops, paint strokes animation, textures, chamber effects, and motion graphic stuff. They are compatible with all editing and compositing apps, and I will be using them in Premiere Pro CC by Adobe. You can get them on their website as instant download for $118. If you wish to buy them already placed in a hard drive for you, they have a Mac version hard drive and a PC version available for $250. If you have a slow internet connection, this would save you the download time and you wouldn't have to worry about storage space. If you are on a budget but you would like to try some of these overlays for free, visit forkyfree.com, register and get over 100 free 4K files. This way you'll be able to follow along this video and get cool new effects for your video production for free. In the pack there's over 225 overlay clips. So you get 100 animated motion graphics, geometric shapes, radials, play buttons, color backdrops for text or green screen, and a lot more. 15 ink overlays, which are very popular for music videos and logo reveal. 20 paint drips and splashes. 20 animated paint strokes. 20 animated texture overlays. 10 chamber effects. 40 texture images such as bricks, paper, coffee stain, watercolor, old paint. So there's a lot of stuff to play with. The clips are in 4K, which is a very high resolution. I feel so lucky because this amazing graphic designer, Carla Dani Miranda, created these cool logos for my channel and she offers some sweet branding packages and custom logos on her Etsy shop. They are very fresh and high quality. If you need to pimp your channel and brand your page, you should definitely check her designs. I will create an animated logo using every category offered in the Motion Essential Pack. You'll be able to use these techniques on your own logo, text, pictures, video clips, and make yourself a sick intro for your channel. Let's start with a simple logo reveal using the chamber effects. These overlays have a transparent background so you can easily layer them or use them as matte. Today I'm working in HD. Since the clips are in 4K, you could scale them down to fit an HD timeline. For today's tutorial, I will keep their original size so they will cover more of the screen and be more effective at revealing the logo. I will be using a clip with a lot of vapor. I dragged and dropped the chamber effect number 5 and placed it toward the middle of my clip using the position option in the video effect section. On layer 1, I have my logo and on the second layer, I have the chamber effect. Make sure the cloudy part covers your whole logo. To increase the speed of the reveal, you can right click on the effect and choose speed duration. In the percentage box, choose a higher amount. Also, if you wish to reverse the animation, click reverse speed and the clip will play backwards. Let's start our animation by making a colored solid. Go in File, New, Color Matte, confirm your settings, click OK. Choose a color, you can name it and press OK. I move my clips one layer above and drag and drop my new color matte onto the logo. The color makes it already stand out a little. Now let's have our logo appear inside the chamber effect. Go in the FX section and in the search bar, write track matte key. Drag and drop it on your logo and in the effect control section where the track matte key is, make sure it's set to alpha and above this, select the layer where your overlay is. You can see that now my logo only appears inside the smoke. It covers most of my clip, but I would like to make it a little bit bigger. I select my overlay clip and in the effect control section, I can scale it up in the motion section. To have a complete reveal of the full logo in the end, I drag another copy of this logo on layer 4, only towards the end. To make a smooth transition, go in Effect Control at Opacity, create a keyframe for the beginning at 0% and one a little bit further at 100%. This will make the final logo appear smoothly towards the end. To add even more motion to this animation, I am dragging the chamber effect number 7 on top of all my layers. I increase the scale so it covers my screen. And to blend it better, I will go in the opacity settings and change the blending mode to overlay. Also, if you wish to change the color of your color mat that is on the first layer, at any time you can double click on it and a color picker box will appear. Simply pick a color and press OK. It can easily give another vibe to your animation. You can use the same technique to make pictures or video reveals using a track matte key and overlays from the Motion Essential Pack. Another cool thing you can do is put smoke inside text. I drag and drop the chamber effect number 9 on the first layer of my timeline. I chose this clip because it had a lot of smoke. 
Now I'm going to make a new text layer. I'm going to use Helvetica, but any bold font would work really well. I place my text clip on top of my chamber effect on the timeline. Then, like I did before, I'm going to place a track matte key on my chamber effect layer and link it to my text layer by choosing layer 2 in the settings. If after applying the track matte key the text appears a little bit bigger, you can select the text layer and resize it using scale in the effect control section. This is a very fast technique that you can do with any clip or picture of your choice. You can add another layer of smoke on top if you wish to give more dimension to your clip. To change the color of the motion essential clips, you can either search for tint in the effect section for a single color effect, or my favorite, ramp, which gives a realistic color gradient. So you can drag and drop it on your smoke clip, select your two colors, and you're done. There's a bunch of useful textures that come in the motion essential pack. I love the coffee stains and watercolors the most. Let's add more movement to this image by adding some of the motion essential ink drops and spills. I drag and drop them on my timeline. Since they are black, I'm adding a color mat on my first layer to be able to see them better. Now, I can pick one that looks a little bit like the shape of the coffee spills. I place this clip on top of my coffee spill image. Now to change the color of the ink and make it match the color of the coffee, I go in the effect section and search for tint. I drag and drop the tint on my rampant clip and now I can replace the black by the coffee color. It looks a lot more realistic and more dynamic than a single still image. If you feel your animation is too slow, you can speed it up like we did before. By using ink, you can give nice movement to your clip and play with colors to match your logo. You can use the same two techniques we did with the paint strokes and paint overlays by Rampant to create this logo reveal. My favorite part of the Motion Essential Pack are the textured overlays and the MoGraphs. The MoGraphs are a bunch of animated shapes on transparent background that you can place anywhere on your clip. You can make cool effects by using them with the track matte key like we did before. Since I'm working on an HD timeline, I need to resize the clips to match. I tried using scale to frame or set to frame, but in this case, it's not working since the clips become cropped at the top and bottom. So I suggest you do it manually by scaling them down in the effect control section and then copy the settings. If you want to apply them to many clips, select all the clips and paste the information on them. There are so many different things you can do with these clips. I like to blend them by going in the opacity section and choosing a smooth blending mode such as screen. You can also color them by using tint or a ramp like we did before. You can really get creative with these and they look very professional. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget you can get over 100 free clips on forgivefree.com. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials and have a really great day guys and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye bye! I'm actually waving. <laughs>